Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to another episode of Moments of Truth with me, Daniel Johnson. There exist many misconceptions about the status of women in Islam. Often, these misconceptions are the result of un Islamic practices being intermingled with Islam by ignorant communities. For example, the proliferation of sexist, chauvinistic ideas in Muslim communities even though the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, commanded Muslim men to treat their wives with kindness and respect. It is reported in the Hadith collection of at tirmidhi Hadith number 3895, that the Prophet Muhammad said what is translated as, The best of you are those who are best to their wives, and I am the best of you to my wives. That said, the holy scriptures of Islam do contain verses and statements which run counter to some modern secular values. These verses, however, must be analysed fairly and with respect if they are to be understood correctly. For example, opponents of Islam often point to a verse in the Holy Quran which appears to advocate domestic abuse. In Surah An Nisa, Ayah 34, Allah says what is translated as As to those women on whose part you see ill conduct, admonish them, refuse to share their beds, beat them lightly. Now, as much of an affront to our liberal sensibilities as this verse may be, the light beating mentioned therein is subject to the condition that it not be harsh or cause injury. The great scholar of Islam, Hassan al-Basri, is quoted as saying what is translated as, This means that it should not cause pain. Therefore, while people might not like this singularly un-PC verse of the Qur'an, it's clearly not a divine injunction to batter one's wife. It's also worth bearing in mind that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, who is considered the ideal Muslim never hit a woman and treat his wives with the utmost kindness and compassion. Brothers and sisters, do tune in again for another episode of Moments of Truth. Until then, I've been your host Daniel Johnson. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.